Hi guys, I'm Pritza Sammy. Welcome to this newest video. In this video, you will learn how to make this super cool focus blurs, distortions on your photos really easily with this app called Pixlr Edits. Now, if you guys are following this channel, you guys have already seen my review video on Pixlr Edits. It is an amazing software. It is website based, and you guys can access it anywhere. Let it be your mobile phone, your iPad, your laptop, computer, etc. It is a super handy tool. So, if you guys have not seen that video yet, then there will be a card above here. Here, just go to the link and check out that video too. And the things which I'm going to mention in this video are two new effects which they have added in their libraries, which is the Focus Studio and the Dispersion Studio, with which you can make some amazing focus blurs, like some radial blurs, and create some amazing bokehs, create some dispersions in your pictures, with which you guys can create some amazing content for your social media, for your YouTube, for any kind of photography business, etc. So with that being said, if you guys like this kind of content, then do make sure to subscribe comment down below like this video and let's just start it So once you guys go to the link which is there in the description below, you guys are going to see these two options. Of course, I already made a video on both of them. So if you guys have not seen the Pixlr E or the Pixlr S review videos, just go to the link in the description below to check out those videos as well. For this dispersion studio effect which I was talking about, we are going to use Pixlr S. So just click on this, and then after that, I'm going to just create a new canvas. I'm going to just choose a vertical portrait for this one, and then click on OK. Import my picture just like this. Again, just like my previous review video, I'm going to apply my film effect onto this picture because that is one of the effects which I love a lot from this website. So I'm going to just go to the effects, go to portraits, and then apply the effect right here. And then after that, as you go to the bottom of the panels on the left hand side. You guys are going to see Focus as well as Dispersion Studio. Focus Studio is super simple. It is like a linear gradient which is there in Lightroom, right? So with this linear gradients, so if I just click on Soft Bokeh right here and increase the amount, you guys can see all this beautiful bokeh forming on the picture itself on the masking of the radial filter. So that is a pretty cool one, right? And you guys can do this directly within this software as well. It is super simple. You guys can create some bokeh too, which is so soothing, so good looking, and it is just amazing to look at. You guys can change the color of the bokeh, which I love a lot because that is one thing which I am going to use a lot, such as this one, a little bit reddish color. You guys can change the shape of the bokeh too, if you guys want to. So this is what this Focus Studio is capable of and the best part is you guys can do this straight away inside your browser. You guys do not have to install any kind of complicated softwares. You guys don't have to, you know, invest on the space of your computer. You guys can do this directly on your website. Other than those, there is a radial filter too, such as this one, which is in a circular fashion. It does the same thing, but in a circular fashion. There's a linear one too, which is there only in one direction, whereas the first one was in both directions. So that is enough. That is how cool this particular website is. This particular setting is all about. Other than those, there is another one called the Dispersion Studio. Dispersion Studio is itself a very specific kind of a usage, such as it actually disperses, or rather, it creates particles from the masking you guys make. So if you guys are making any kind of masking right here, it actually creates a very good amount of particles inside it. This is not a good example for me to show. However, if you guys are making a starry night or if you guys want to make a starry night, you guys can use this to create a starry night as well. Other than those for this video, you guys can change all the amounts, all the stretch options, all the scale options, all the shape of the dispersions, etc. to create something extremely different for your photos, right? So this is what Dispersion Studio is capable of. So after everything is done, it is super simple. All you have to do is simply click on save and it is going to save the thing for you. And that is it. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. And the final result is there on the screen right now. So that is enough for this video, guys. If you guys are interested on this software and this website, then there is a 30 day free trial in the description below, which you must definitely check out. With that being said, if you guys like the content of this video, then do make sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to this channel. And I'm Pizza Samia. I'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.